Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Mix It Up podcast. I am Mike. That is Nick. Nick late again once for the podcast, so he he's eating right now. He has his mouth full. He's gonna probably talk. Mm-hmm. That's not gonna be good. Oh, I'll try not to talk while I'm eating. Okay, that's good. Nobody wants to hear that. Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> but, but at least we're doing it on the regular night instead of after the softball game night because that last podcast was trash. <laughs> we all know it. Everybody knows it. Um, it wasn't our best work. First off, nobody wants to hear me blabbering and say the word, the F word. Apparently, there's a drinking game now that some people have started playing. Every time I say the F word, like <clears throat> I, I say fucking when I'm talking. Yeah. Every time I say that word, apparently they, you know, they do a shot. And apparently people are getting wrecked off of this. This is what I heard. So I, I'm really trying to wa- watch my potty mouth. Okay. So I'll try to do that this episode. But last week, I'm going to dig into you a little bit. Remember the movie Weekend at Bernie's? You know that guy in the blue jacket? I think his name is Bernie. <laughs> that was yeah. you last week on the podcast. It was like somebody had strings and it just fucking knocked you out, man. I'm like, carry that motherfucker around, man. I was drunk and high as fuck last week. <laughs> But as that podcast not being our greatest, it had a ton of fucking views. I think uh, people tuned in just because they heard it sucked so bad. They were like, how much could it suck? And right now, the last I checked was like, people like to watch us this week for some reason, like 147 views of people just watching us. I don't know how you too? watch a podcast. Yeah, it's very strange. But then it's like in the thousands on all all platforms, which is pretty crazy. So, yeah, I guess. Wow. I guess maybe that's our thing. That's our brand now. We just got to suck every week. You know, won't be that hard. You know, it'd be cool if we um say we like we never paid attention to like how many people watched us or something. And we, and we were super we were secretly super famous. <laughs> we had no idea. <laughs> oh, shit. What's going on, Mike? Anything new? Nothing. I'm just looking uh-huh. where the fuck my dog went. He can't go too far. He's a, he's a fat boy. I don't know how he got out of here. He fucking... Uh-huh. So, what... I said it already. I said the F word already. Damn it. So just in case anybody's wondering what I'm eating, I'm eating chicken, chicken nuggets and french fries from McDonald's. And they're fucking good. We're sponsored by McDonald's, but so... <laughs> no, we're not. You can't, Wouldn't I? What? We could get sued by McDonald's. Why would they sue? Why would they sue people that they sponsor? I don't know. They just would. That's crazy. Um. So here I am by myself on the podcast. Mike left me. I'm back. I have I have no topics to talk about this week because I'm a terrible podcast co-host. But I will rate these chicken nuggets on a scale from one to ten, and I'll give them a fucking ten. Mickey D's fox. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to eat at 11 o'clock during the week. Can you want, you want to know why I'm so late? Tell me. I played tennis tonight, doubles <laughs> with my with my brother and two other guys, and it ran late. And then I had to go to the studio to take pictures of this up and coming band, Hunter Road. Okay. It's a band that me and my cousin are managing. They just won the Pleasantville Battle of the Pleasantville uh, Battle of the Bands, and they're oh, gonna nice. play the they're gonna play the Pleasantville Music Festival in on July eighth. These kids are fucking phenomenal, bro. What kind phenomenal. of uh, what kind of music? Heavy fucking rock, man. Heavy rock, like hard, like yeah, like not hardcore shit, like heavy fucking bringing bringing rock music back. Like they're twenty and twenty one years old, these kids, and they're the most talented motherfuckers I've ever met in my life, man. Really? That's how they're fucking so good. Damn. Yep. High praise coming for that. It's, it seems like heavy rock or that kind of rock is making a comeback, right? Am I right or wrong? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. It might be. I, I, I don't know. I keep hearing like heavy rock every, you know what I'm saying? 
Like I what? Got like serious radio. I think you talk about it. Your band. I just hear it around, man. All right. Well, that's good. But you know, I, I whatever. Whatever. Yeah. So hopefully, uh, your mother's out there. Maybe you like to listen to that heavy rock. Happy Mother's Day. Yep. To the people out there. And happy Mother's Day to my mom. Rest in peace, mom. Happy Mother's Day. I always yep. I always get like for, for Mother's Day, I get like a bunch of scratch off tickets and I give to my, my mom. She likes that shit, right? Mm-hmm. So I continued the tradition after she, you know, she passed. So I had some scratch offs that I bought uh, the other day. Scratch them off on Sunday. Bang, 200 bucks. Nice. First scratcher, man. Sick. In the in the, in the money out there. What you uh what you do for Mother's Day? You do anything? Yeah, I went up to my brother's. We had uh he, he cooked some took some chicken and shit. It's great. It's nice. nice. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think we're doing <clears throat> I think we're doing pretty good to compare to last week's sucky podcast because I think we're sucking right now. So we're probably gonna get a lot of views. I think so. hey, this is this is the way we gotta go. Mm-hmm. I keep jumping off screen because my fucking dog just fucking ran away. He's probably getting into trouble somewhere. Well, whatever. Where can he possibly go, Mike? Where can he possibly go? He goes fucking like under. Harry said the f word again. God damn it! Ah, I, I got somebody. Somebody complain about this? Yeah, somebody complained. They they really they complained about how bad the podcast was last week. They com- Ooh, oh. complained about my career. I can't say it. Can it came in an email anonymous. Anonymous sixty nine. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm on it. Awesome. Anonymous sixty nine was like, like yo, fuck these guys. That's awesome. Yeah, he's he was like, yo, the guy Nick, he's like, he's dead. Hmm. And then Mike sucks, and this podcast could burn in hell. That's exact quotes from Anonymous sixty nine. Listen, AOL. I got to be honest with you. I appreciate. <laughs> Anonymous sixty nine writing anything to us. <laughs> I want to, I want to fight Anonymous sixty nine. Listen, right Anonymous sixty nine. I'm not mad at you, Anonymous sixty nine. I actually want oh, yeah. you on the pod. You could, you could blank your face out and do one of those cool voiceovers, like, Whoa, and you could be on the pod. All right, yeah, Anonymous could come on the pod, but after the pod, I get to punch you square in the face. <laughs> How do you like that, Anonymous? Is anonymous to you, Mike? Did you did you nah. make anonymous sixty nine? Nah, anonymous is not me. But um, I did go with a few anonymouses to the Yankee game on Friday night. Uh, Crazy went, Malarzar went, and Jay Weiss, AK Jules, he went. Um, good time. I got freaking hammered, bro. Hammered. Yeah. yeah, I got really drunk, man. I was fucking drinking like. So I had a couple like big cans before I even left the building, you know, which was my house. And then Crazy Chris drove down. But this is like after Malarsa gets dropped off, Heike Larsa gets dropped off. And, you know, the in a group text with, with us three the night before, I was like, guys, download the clear app. It gets you in the Yankee stadiums real fast. It's like this, you know, the same with airports. If you never heard of it, the clear app, you get to skip all the lines. And when Larsa was getting dropped off, he's like, I'm like, he didn't want to do it. I'm like, all right, you don't want to download the clear app because he's like scared, like the government or whatever is going to take him. Mm-hmm. And so he, we're arguing back and forth. I'm like, just fucking download it. It takes two seconds. You know, you get ahead. Of, you get in. You know, he's like, he kept telling me he knew this uh, cop down there, get us in or whatever. So I'm like, whatever. So finally, he gives me his phone. He's like, he's like. Oh, no, first I was like, all right, since you don't want to download the clear clear app, I got the phone on my I got the ticket on my phone. I'm just going to send your ticket to you. What's your email? He's like, I don't have email on the phone. Hmm. Impressive. impressive. I'm like, yeah, OK, it's impressive, but it's 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 not 1996 anymore, bro. Like you have to have email on your phone. You know what I mean? What are you right? It comes standard. And, and and I'm like, how can you not have fucking email on your phone, right? So I'm now like, I'm like, what the fuck? So his phone, I'm like, listen, you got to download this fucking clear app. And so we could just all walk it together. I'm like, this this is the only thing that's happening. Mike, before you, before you keep going, I just want to let everybody know that 
this is the most enthralling fucking conversation I've ever had before. So I, I just can't wait to see where the fuck this goes because it's fucking so enthralling. I wish it was middle of the co- podcast so we can have a commercial break and keep the fucking people on a cliffhanger. That's how fucking good this story is. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> he uh, I, he gets me the phone and then I, I'm trying to download the app. And then it says your phone needs to update in order to upload this new app. I'm like, Jesus Christ. So I look at his phone. It wasn't updated for like five updates. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, I'm then I'm like, take his phone, had to go upstairs, you know, change whatever. I'm downloading this thing. Finally got it on his phone, taking a picture, whatever. Finally relented, went down there. Lines were crazy long. The clear line was fucking long, but Malarsic knew the cop to get us in. And we went in the side of Yankee Stadium which was really cool. So Malarsic did come through after all, you know, although I heard from the Yankee stadium people, the clear lines, they have like 10 ushers working there. So they get you in the stadium that quick, mm-hmm. even when, wow. the, even when the gates are locked, the second they open the gates, he said, you're in there no matter the long in the line, you're in there in like two minutes. Wow. So I'm like, Oh shit. I'm like, you know, keeping that on my phone, but yeah, that's awesome. That's that really it, cool. Man. Yeah. yeah no, that's, we got hammered at the Yankee same yeah. and they won. It was a good time. Can you tell that clear app story again <laughs> before no. we jump? Well, I tell you, oh, if people man. download the clear app, it's going to be special. Yeah, it sounds special. Enjoy. Yeah, you'll enjoy it. Hmm. So that's it. What do you want to talk about? You want to talk about um the chokehold? That was my weekend. No. Oh. <laughs> you want to talk about the chokehold? Yeah, sure. Let's talk about it. All right. So, you know the guy, right? Not personally, no. Did you know the story? I did, yeah. All right, I know so, some of the story. So. All right. so, basically, he's an ex-Marine. Choked out this dude, happened to be black, because he was freaking out on the train. You know, the, the guy apparently, like, he was bothering people, verbally abusing people, harassing people. Put him in a chokehold. He didn't die right there. He died later. And... Now he's like in jail, whatever. They're trying to press charges against him. Meanwhile, he's like a hero for taking one of these fucking lunatics down. And by the way, this lunatic, um, he had 44 arrests, 45 arrests, previous wow. arrests. So now, of course, now that he died and the family wants to sue, the family's, of course, all at the forefront because they know they're going to get paid. They're going to get that fucking money. Meanwhile, where were you for the previous 44 arrests? Were you around to help him out to maybe not make another mistake and not harass somebody else? No, you weren't. He was homeless. You didn't take him in. And now you show up because you want to get paid. That's some bullshit, bro. I mean, how long did this guy have this guy in a chokehold for? Like 15 minutes, some stupid shit like that, right? No, it wasn't even that long. No? No, it wasn't. It wasn't that long. I think that's what people just assume. But, you know, he also had like two other people there, a black guy and an Hispanic guy that was helping him out, you know, keeping this guy down. So obviously he was causing a major disturbance on the train, oh. but mm-hmm. they didn't go after them or there's no talk of them. And then also like the, you know, his bail was, I don't know, crazy amount or whatever, but they had a GoFundMe page up to you know help him out with his like attorney fees you know the the guy that actually did the choco the Mm ex-marine and it was up to like two million dollars so it's like it's people like actually just fed up with the with the criminals getting a pass and the good guys getting in trouble for it it's just i mean it's obviously not right and and it's striking a chord with people that you know that they're tired of it like the people like aoc saying Oh, he just had mental illness. You can't just kill somebody on the street. She was all like all dramatic. She's got to go too. like stick up for the people that actually do the right thing. It sucks mm-hmm. that he died. It really is. But, you know, if you're not, you know, he was like on a list of the police department's top 50 people to keep an eye on. So obviously they couldn't keep him in jail. You know what I'm saying? This whole defund mm-hmm. me crap. So if you're going to blame something, blame that. You know, this is this was the result. Of you to fund and police and shit like that. Yeah. Probably. I mean, I don't know the story well enough, but I do know that like 
you probably shouldn't choke somebody out for that long to the point where you're going to kill them. Yeah, of course. Um, of course but I mean, if a guy, if a guy's just like harassing everybody and you had enough, you got to put him in a chokehold, you know, do you have to, I would have just push him, <laughs> just push, push, just him, push him, <laughs> push him. No, like if you're on the train, just push him really hard. I'm sure they tried that. Push the shit out of him. Just continuously push him. He's just probably a a biggest pain in the ass. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you could keep pushing him, but then that just leads to a fight. This dude doesn't want to fight this maniac. Just put him in a chokehold. Be like, yo, relax, calm down. But these are what these, you know, this is what happens, man. These. (laughs) I'm a big walk around the streets. I'm a big pusher. I like to push people and call them a butthead if they fuck with me. Listen, if they listen to us, man, there'd probably be no fights in the streets out here. What are you going to do about it, butthead, and you just push him? If you told that guy, listen, <laughs> butthead, you're about to go with a chokehold. <laughs> He'd be like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> but that's where we are with that story in the news. So We should, op- we should open up a store called Buttheads or Us. <laughs> but what would it be, though? That's the question. I don't know. Assholes or whoopee cushions? Yeah, we, we, <laughs> we would just sell fucking uh, bald. What are those bald things? Like you know what I'm talking about, right? Like that make bald people bald, like skull caps that are make you bald. Yeah, just bald shaped, caps. <laughs> shaped like butt <laughs> with a big so, line in the middle of it. Yeah, it'll be a huge store like the size of Costco, but it's all it has is just the butt heads. That's all we're selling: butt heads. There's like a three million butt heads in the store. I don't care what we sell there, or what it's about, as long as we have literally butt heads that work there, like the the dumbest, the stupidest people that yeah. work there. Mm-hmm. Then they, anytime you ask them a question, they just don't know the answer. Yeah, I'm like this fucking butt head don't know fucking <laughs> shit around here. Give me four butt heads that work in the store. Whatever we want to sell is fine with me. Um, let's see what else topics we got here. Uh, I'll tell you what, we're going to have to find a pitcher for tomorrow because I played so much tennis that my shoulders bothered like like dead already. And I hate these double headers. Sorry to break off into this like little tangent here, but this this new guy's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> All these fucking double headers. Get the yeah, fuck out of here. Yeah, you can't be playing like two double headers in a row. Yeah. And like, was did, did we go one on one or is this like that makeup game tomorrow that we're playing this team? Did he just decide no. to make it up next week? No, that's that was they they that's forfeited, forfeit, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, but then we're playing. Yeah, we're playing a double header again. This mm-hmm. dude just don't. He just wants to fucking get this season over with. Apparently. Yeah. Yeah, I don't um, like. It. Check this out. A meteorite crashed into a New Jersey home. Dude, how cool would that be? Imagine you get to see like a meteorite not crash into your house, but like yeah. ne- like next to your house. You know what I'm saying? Where they leave like. And you could get a piece of rock and shit from like outer space. But like, I'd be scared to touch it. Like, what if you get some crazy shit? But also, what if you get like a crazy power from touching it and become like Superman? You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, throw a couple meteorites down here, man. Let me take my chances. (laughs) Isn't it crazy how meteorites are so heavy? Like if you take like a teaspoon of a meteorite, it's like three thousand pounds or some stupid shit like that. That's like true. it's so dense. Well, this this piece that came in the house, it hit, it went through the roof and to the floor, like right mm-hmm. below. It didn't make it to like the first floor. Yeah. But it still burst through the top of the fucking roof. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what's stopping like like with all the planes that are flying in the air? What's stopping a meteorite to just blast right through an airplane and just cause an airplane crash? Yeah, nothing. <clears throat> is it airplane like protected where like if a meteorite rock hits it, like it won't go through? That's a question I would want to know. Like, you know, if I'm... no, no, Mike, it... there's no protection from that. No, they don't. They don't make um, they don't make airplanes that are meteorite um, meteorite proof. Really? That meteorite will fucking destroy that thing. They fly in like it is a zillion miles per hour. Think so? Wouldn't it be cool to get killed by a meteorite? Like you're just sitting in your house, like right now. Imagine, dude, if I got crushed by a meteorite right now, this podcast would blow the fuck up. 
it w- it really would. I'm like, wow, that's we got it. We got it on tape. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, that'd be so cool. I, I wouldn't mind seeing it in the background. I don't want to see nobody get hurt, fucking killed by an asteroid. I'm talking about me, though. I don't want to see that either. You know, especially yes. like live and shit. I'm like, yo, we got a pod next week. Dude, I'll take one for the team for the pod. <laughs> It'll blow would, wouldn't that be cool? Like you could tell people like, yeah, my co-host. Got killed by a meteorite, like outer space. This thing was, isn't that weird? That dude, that meteorite. Who knows how long it's been traveling? Right. No, that's what I'm saying. It's probably could have been there for millions of years. Millions just going through outer space, and then it got caught in our atmosphere. It was like, no, nah. yeah, like, oh, where the fuck am I going? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, and it was it's funny. Crazy Chris sent me like an Instagram video. He always sent me Instagram videos like a. Like a message or whatever to the pod. So if you're yeah. ever on the pod, check out the the messages. Show me one. It's girl. Like you know how those have these hoarder shows and shit. They hoard shit or whatever. This one just eats rocks. Literally munches on rocks and eats them for like twenty fucking years. Interesting. You know, sorry, I said f word again. God damn it. But yeah, she just like she takes like big chunks. Like she's eating a cookie. Like it's <laughs> freaking wild to watch, man. And she swallows them. She's like, she's eating, literally eating rocks. That doesn't make any sense. How can a human being eat rocks? Dude, I'll <laughs> I'll figure out how to send it to you, and I'll send it. It's it's wild. You like munches on that. Yeah. You know, I'm surprised she don't put it in a bun, like make it like a hot dog rock or whatever. <laughs> it's, it's wild what she does. Like people are crazy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? People are really nuts out there. That's this is what they do. That that girl was young and like her friend came over and was like, Oh, you want to try this new candy? It's called Pop Rocks. And she was like, No, I'll make my own Pop Rocks. <laughs> just went outside and just grabbed a handful of gravel and started munching on it. <laughs> I eat real rocks, bitch. <laughs> just munch it on. Like, what do you do? You fucking pepper and salt them up? Like, what do you do with it? Wow. Salt you know. and pepper. Dude, imagine if you ate rocks, though, you would never go hungry. Like, if you were in the woods, like, Oh, I'm. I'll be all right. I just just got to find some rocks. Maybe that's a secret. I don't know. Like she looked kind of chunky, though. So it's like I think the rocks like might like sit in her stomach or whatever. You know what I'm saying? They're high in protein rocks. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what it does, bro. I ain't about to try, though. I yo, what's it? She's got to be shitting those rocks out then. Yeah, that's a really like really hard poo. Yeah, it's got to be. There's no if, hands, or but. Like your body can't break down rocks, so that shit's coming out like a fuck. Like a, mm-hmm. I almost said it again. Mm-hmm. It comes out like a, I don't know, like a pipe. A pipe, <laughs> yeah, like a legit right. pipe. Like where'd that pipe come from? On oh, my butthole. <laughs> it's crazy, rocks. It is crazy, man. Yeah, I can eat rocks, bro. Did you ever, when you were younger, eat sunflower seeds, like the shell and everything? Yeah, because I didn't know how to eat them. Yeah. I see people just shove it in their mouth. I'm like, oh, that must be easy. Yeah. It's disgusting. I'm like, that's why to this day I don't eat I don't eat sunflower seeds. Did you shit the did you shit the shells out? I don't remember. I just I, remember, did. I just remember thinking, why would somebody eat that? Oh, you shit it out like corn? It comes no, out. Like corn, no, right? no, no. You you eat the you eat them and then swallow them and they're all like break up and shit. And then when you shit them out. It fucking kills your your fucking yeah it kills it. You can feel the fucking see like the shells just ripping your asshole hard. <laughs> you don't you don't see him. I never look, Mike. I never look. <laughs> I always turn around and look every time I dump. I have to uh, make sure. Of course, like, of course. I always check. I hate that I do. Sometimes I just want to like flush without looking, mm-hmm. but I always look. It's really hard. Really, really hard not to. You got it. You ever take yeah, creatine? Yeah. Creatine, yeah, I love creatine back in the day. It used to make your shit green. Nope, that wasn't creatine they gave you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, and they Ecto-Kool-Aid. made me shit green. Yeah, Ecto Kool Aid. I think we might have talked about this on the pod before, but back in the day at Gold's Gym, they used to make this protein shake that was Myoplex mm. strawberry, Myoplex strawberry. Made with fucking apple juice. This shit was crack, bro. They put ice and apple juice in there. It was the best fucking protein 
Drake you can ever imagine having in your life. That sounds absolutely delicious, man. Mm -hmm. I got to try that. Yo, Myoplex was the best back in the day. Oh, yeah. That shit was so fucking filling and, like, wonderful. Perfect. Yeah. Um, let's see what else we got here. Uh, best actor. Mike wants, I guess, to do a poll. Who do you think is a better actor between Keanu Reeves and Adam Sandler? All right, what do you think? What's If you had to pick better, between those guys. Better actor? I mean, you um, could say, like, better actor, but it's not really just better actor, like, better, like, entertainer. You know, yeah, yeah, entertainer is the word, yeah. Like, who would you, you know what I mean? So if I had to kill one or fuck one? I don't want you to do any of that to anybody. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Let's Definitely do kill, not to those guys. Let's pick another one and do kill, fuck, marry. <laughs> I'm not kill, fuck, marry anybody. Yeah, let's do it. Ready? Who's the third Who's the third guy? Who's pick the third a third guy. guy. Um, Brad Pitt. Oh, obviously I'm going to marry Brad Pitt. Um, Makes sense. I'm going to... Yeah. I'm going to kill Adam Sandler because he's going to get annoying. Yeah. I guess I'll fuck Keanu. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I didn't want any part of this, so I'm just going to agree with Nick. The same answers is, is, is what I'm going with. <laughs> Dude, remember MASH back in the day? MASH. MASH sucked. The I, game. Oh, the game? Not the TV show. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember the game. Game was cool. The show sucked. Yeah. When when I was younger, uh, me and my boy Schmangelo, I won't say his name out loud, Schmangelo, mm -hmm. we uh we used to play mash all the time, like all the time, and I would get fucking raging boners when we were playing it because we would <laughs> because because afterwards we would always pretend like we were banging the banging the real girl that we won like as our wife, like it would always be like, uh, Britney Spears or fucking like, you know. Was it like uh, Sarah Michelle Geller, and then he's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna." I was just in my head. I'm like, I can't wait to marry Mich Sarah Michelle Geller. In my, it, it, the best was like, you got a mansion, and uh, you make fucking four dollars a year, and you have uh, thir three hundred and forty two kids with Sarah Michelle Geller. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, sign me up. <laughs> It always felt so real, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, so it just made sense. Like, it was definitely going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, mesh rocks. We love to that naive. Miss those days. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, so really, who's the better entertainer? Adam Sandler or Keanu? Yeah. I think that... I think Keanu. Yeah. Yeah. I just think he's just better entertainer, but he's a better person, too. Think so? Yeah, yo, Keanu's fucking awesome, man. You know, he was um, yeah, a little bit backstory on him. He was abandoned by his father at three years old. Mm -hmm. Grew up with three different stepdads. He's dyslexic. He had uh, he was a big hockey player. He was gonna be a, you know, his dream was to be a hockey player. Yeah, but got shattered by a serious accident. His daughter died at birth. Oh, his wife died in a car accident. What his best fuck? his best friend River Phoenix. Oh, Remember yeah. him? He died yeah. of the overdose, you know. Mm -hmm. His sister battled leukemia. And Keanu was like, you know, he just kind of like he lives a, a different life. Like he's no bodyguards, no like luxury houses. He lives in an apartment in New York City, just wands around. Sometimes you see him on like the subway. And he just like he just does good stuff. Like he was on set of like a, a movie, the lake house or whatever, with that Sandra Bullock girl. Mm -hmm. And some dude was like, I think he was going to lose his house or something, but he needed like $20,000. Somebody that worked on set, all of a sudden he just showed up. He had $20,000 in his bank account from wow. Keanu Reeves and shit. You know, wow. and then he did it like he just like he does some uh, you know, cool shit, like a paparazzi story. They, they found him just in the company of like a homeless man in L.A., just mm -hmm. listening to him and sharing his life for like a few hours. Mm -hmm. Then he donated, gave this guy some money, whatever. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he could have like all this other shit, but he, it said he gets up and chooses, you know, one thing and just, you know, just to be a real, real dude, man. He's, he's mm -hmm. a good dude, bro. I like Keanu Reeves. I like his movies too. The Matrix. It's mm -hmm. awesome. 
Um, even Bill and Ted's stupid adventures, like you know, mm-hmm. I watched that shit, and I really got to get into the uh, the John Wick movies. I've never watched them. I know there's oh, like eight of them, so I gotta yeah, I gotta get into that and start start watching them. I watched one or two of them. I can't remember, but they're they're insane. They're really good. They but, look insane, yeah. Did you did you know you know how he got involved with Bill and Ted? No. So the other guy, they were they were walking around like a fair in like, I don't know, wherever Keanu's from or whatever. And they were looking to find somebody that would match kind of like the blonde. They had the blonde guy first, whoever it is. Yeah. So they le- legitimately just walked around like a local fair. And Keanu was working. He was doing like one of those stands or whatever. I think like the cotton candy stand or some shit like that. Really? Yeah. And he, uh, what the fuck happened after that? The I think the blonde kid was just he wanted fucking cotton candy. He did. They didn't even like Keanu. They didn't even like say, "Oh, that look at that guy, right?" Yeah. And no joke, he just goes like this. Uh, the the guy gives him his uh, Keanu gives him the cotton candy. He goes, "Surfs up, dude," and that was it. Really? Like they were just like, "Yo, say that again." And he was like, "What?" And he was like, "Surfs up, dude." And then they were like, "Dude, do you act?" And he was like, "No, I serve cotton candy at the local <laughs> fair." <laughs> <laughs> you just see me at my place of business. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if anybody, if any listeners, know that that was absolute bullshit, or if they like really believed it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be warned. I I believe it. It was that that wasn't true. No. Oh come on, you had me, man. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. God candy guy. We should do a There's true or something. false. Yeah. A true or false every fucking episode, but it uh, it's always false. I make it up all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you really should do that. That's a good one. Yeah, but Sailor, you listen, Sailor, awesome, great comedies, yeah. great like great like moral, good, uh, wholesome moral, yeah, like, kind of movies. I kind of like, legs. you know, what I'm saying nice, nice legs, nice tits, perfect, perfect. Uh, he man, <laughs> yeah. She man, whatever it is, Trandy. Yeah, there is a funny story about Adam Sandler, and this is true. I'm dead serious. All right, go ahead. When he was younger, he was working <laughs> at a cotton candy stand, and he wasn't famous yet. <laughs> That's right. That's who it was. It was yeah. yeah it was definitely Adam Sandler with the uh, cotton candy machine. Yeah. All right. Let's see what else is going on here. You want to take a quick commercial break? Real quick. Yeah, sure. Go back, yeah. Rapid fire these topics. All right. We'll be right back on the Mix It Up podcast. All right. We are back on the Mix It Up podcast. I'm Mike. That's Nick. Nick, what other topics? We don't really have many left to rapid fire, but um, we did both do DNA testing last week, which we didn't tell tell everybody about. Yeah, we did. But it's going to, the results are going to come in, I think, mm-hmm. what, next week? I think so, yeah. So hopefully we we'll have it like it was like seven to ten days um, that we get our DNA back and figure out like, you know, what are we? I'm banking on like 110 percent Irish for me, mm-hmm. but I'm definitely interested to see, you know, see what I am, see what I'm made up on the inside. Yeah. What about you? Up. What do you think you are? Um, You know, well, you just believe what your parents told you you are. I'm a, I'm a good person. I used to. uh I mean, I'm I'm supposedly quote unquote 100 percent Italian, but nobody's 100 percent shit. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think I'm some sort of Spanish because I think my my grandmother my grandmother's mother's last name was Cortesa, I believe. Okay. But we don't know because I think she died really young, like when my grandmother was four years old or something like that. So like nobody ever really knew her last name. I guess I don't know why, but that I guess that's the way things went back in the day. Um. But I got. I think I've kind of got to have some sort of like Eastern European in me because like, I just kind of feel like I look like them a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. You right. Know? I think I got a little bit of like, like Soviet Union or something in me. You know, like a kind of like a Drago vibe. I think I got going on. Yeah, just you do look like Drago. Yeah. Something like you know what I'm saying. It's definitely like I got the, like the short hair and shit. This definitely I came from Europe or some shit. You look like. You look like if um, Drago 
had a little like a, a twin brother like Schwarzenegger and Joe Pesci, I uh, Danny DeVito, you would be the Danny DeVito of the it's of like, the it's bushed down a little yeah. bit. Yeah. yeah. I'm, not many, saying, I'm not saying I'm six foot nine and jacked. Yeah. I'll say that I have a drago face there. Yeah. I look dragoish. Yeah. Tell people you like a little Russian. People are like, hey Drago, who's this who's this twin? <laughs> who's this butthead? Oh, that's my brother. Who's this bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Who's this mini Drago looking motherfucker? Imagine Drago carries me around like his mini me and shit. <laughs> he forces you to wear like Oshkosh kibosh just so he could pick you up by your back by your fucking kiboshis. And my little suspenders, my Oshkosh <laughs> suspenders. And he opens, he always opens doors with your head because he's holding you like a fucking knapsack. <laughs> <laughs> this is best shit. <laughs> It'd be fine if he dies, he dies. <laughs> so yeah, so we're gonna get the results back. Uh yeah, hopefully uh next week and then we'll we'll open them up live on air without us even looking at them before we do it. So do you do you is there a nationality or or that you wouldn't want to be? I don't want to be French for some reason. Wow, what would I not wanna be? I uh, think your I think your wiener shrinks. 15% as soon as you know that you're French like if it comes back as oh you're 46% French what a matter shrinks like oh, a yeah. I, like a button. French people what like a button it shrinks down like a button like a yeah. button. I don't know anything about uh the size of French men's wieners but I feel like they're not big eh, who knows <laughs> you know maybe <laughs> a little research might get so nervous once we <laughs> when we start talking about Men's men's wieners. No, nah, not not that, but particularly French men's wieners. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you who doesn't who doesn't freak out when uh, we talk about wieners. The 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 co host the the host of um, caught red handed. Hi, oh, Klarzik. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yep. Okay. He loves loves wieners and dicks. He would he would know if French guys' dicks are small because he's he's the international uh, caught caught red handed just came out. The French version. The French version. It's, <laughs> it's high colorizing with a little mustache yeah. and a paintbrush and a fucking little uh yeah, little French fucking hat. yeah, it's like fucking right. thing and shit. Yeah. Instead of, like, instead of red paint, it's just a bucket of French's mustard. And it's like <laughs> special caught yellow handed <laughs> French edition. Dude, if we made the skit caught got caught red handed, it'd be fucking hilarious. Oh, to get him to do it would be, yeah, it'd be priceless to have, like, Larzik to actually act. <laughs> but, but getting him to, like, act is a whole process. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know how, like, like you train, like, a, a zoo animal? Yeah. You know what I mean? And how frustrating it could be? <laughs> it would be just so frustrating to get him to say, like, you know, he's going to be like, line, line. Like, what am I supposed to say here? Yeah. And then it's just me. It'd be, yeah, you know, we'll be there for days, days trying to film that fucking skit. And he has one line You got caught <laughs> red handed. That's all he's got to say. <laughs> line. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know, one time, trainer, <laughs> he's not a good, he's not a good guy. He said, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would love, love to do that skit. Yeah. Make that skit happen. I think that would be hilarious. I that think really that's would be. Next, that's our next venture. Whenever you have, like, free time, which is never, <laughs> you got to actually do some skits. Yeah. That show would be fucking. You got caught red-handed. <laughs> biddy, biddy, biddy. <laughs> Blind. Blind. <laughs> <laughs> No, you see that in the commercial and shit. We'll have to dub his voice over it. And it'll be like my voice yeah. doing a Larson impression. <laughs> you be, you be caught red handed. <laughs> let me oh, see. Shit. Let me see you. Let me see you. <laughs> That's Blars I get you in his head. Damn. Yo, I don't know about you, but I'm getting real tired right now. Let's see what we got any more topics. Um let's wrap it up. Biden addresses oh, Howard yeah. University. That's our last topic. All right, that's the last one. All right, this is a good one. So, you know, Biden, you know, Howard University is traditional black school, African American school. So Biden decided to go there and give like, you know, a nice little address. 
not his address, but like addressing <laughs> people. Right. So he decides to like talk about how apparently the number one threat of this country is white supremacy. And wow. interesting. Fitting, like he goes to a all black school, white president says that. Um, it seems like he's looking for votes. Uh, that's number one. Mm-hmm. But to say like the number one threat is white supremacy, like, do you even know any white supremacists? And have you seen on the news, have you seen white supremacists? Like, do they go off and battle in the streets of like New York or Chicago and kill each other? Do they rob like Walmarts and Best Buys? I don't really see them doing that. I don't even know if they fucking exist. And he's saying <laughs> that's our number one threat. I'm like, where are they then? Right. You know what I'm saying? They're not. Listen, I'm not supporting them. I'm not fans of them. But I just don't think they exist. The only time I've ever seen them were like on like American History X, the movie with Edward Norton. One of the greatest movies of all time. Dude, right? they, they exist. They, they exist, Mike. They, they got it. It's probably, but it's like in, not around us. It's got to be like maybe in the deep south or whatever. Or No, they exist you know? everywhere. All right. I mean, but they that's do. but that's the number one threat. What are they planning on doing? Eating us. You know what? I don't get it. I just don't get it. Yeah. I mean, maybe they're saying like they're the number one internal threat, internal threat, you know, because domestic have- terrorism. <laughs> yeah. Domestic they- terrorism, right. I mean, they haven't done anything. If they try to do something, you know, a lot of people aren't going to stand for it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're not going to stand for that shit. No. But we stand for all the other garbage that's going on. You yeah, know, if you don't if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for everything. That's it. Mic drop. That's it. Oh, shit. That's just yeah. That's just my point on that, man. Yeah. Listen, if it's true, then show us the proof. That's all. I just want to see some proof that exists, and then you know, there's no reason to hate. You know, don't be a hateful person. Don't hate when you have the ability to all to masturbate instead. That's it. Masturbate, you won't even want to hate. Just so be tired. You'd be tired. Masturbate, you won't want to go on a date. Because you'd be tired. You'd be tired. Masturbate, you'll be late. You'd be tired. You'd be tired. <laughs> we have a problem. Shit. All right, I got to go to sleep, dog. And I know all listeners got to go to sleep, too. All right. So get a good right rest. Thanks. Get a doubleheader tomorrow. Yep. I got to go three for four again because last week I was three for four with a walk. Nice. So I'm just going to bat like probably 750, 800 like all year. Hell yeah. So I'm sure you're going to love to tune in next week to hear my stats, but I'm going to tell you, I'm going to probably go five and five. I go for a five, five. That's what I'm doing tomorrow. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. So that's it. So that's a wrap on the mix up podcast. I don't think we forgot anything. No. Um. But yeah, stay tuned next week for our big DNA reveal. So mm-hmm. you know, we'll find out what we are on yeah. the inside. Yeah. I'm hoping I'm like, I don't know, like a Pacific Islander. I always wonder <laughs> where. All right. Yeah. But with that, we out. Peace. <laughs>